Hello TIs. It is June 10th, 2024. June 10th, 2024. So, um, I want to, um, talk about a couple things today. I know I haven't been on in a while. <laughs> Excuse me. There's been a lot going on. Um, well, I'm sorry, um, I have like a bad cold or something, summer cold, I'm not sure what's going on, I'm always sick, um, anyways, one of the things I want to talk about is, I've thought about it a lot, is that, you know how, like, every time that we say something on any of the social platforms, um, we get banned, and then we get a strike, and then we are, in, then we have to wait to get back on that platform, even if it's, you know, something that shouldn't be, you know, how they, a lot of social platforms won't let you say certain things or anything like that. Well, I started thinking about that. So you know how, like, as one TI says, the, I don't exactly know what the wording is, but she calls him the gorilla man or whatever. And then, you know, there's the other one that follows all the TIs around, the chief guy. Um... And all these bots that post on our channels, call, you know, and then it doesn't matter what social platform we're on. They they come in and they, you know, are um, saying negative things. And But anyways, getting to the point, what I want to say is I found a way to combat that. So they're calling us schizophrenic and um, mentally ill without a clinical diagnosis or them being a psychiatrist. So that should be an automatic, um, you know, strike against their channel. So when they do that, make sure that you block them and that you send in feedback. You do a report on them and say that they're making a clinical diagnosis without a license. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. If we're not allowed to say one little thing that's irrelevant, that we don't even say anything like that. But how are they getting away with saying those kinds of things when we do one little thing and get a strike? So from now on, when you see somebody doing that, report them and say, and in the report field, you can put a comment, say that they're making a clinical diagnosis without any factual basis, and they're not, and they, and, and they are not a psychiatrist. They're, they're, they're making a diagnosis without a license. So make sure that you're reporting every single, I don't care if it's a bot, every single account that does that make sure that you are reporting that I thought about that like how can they get away with that if we if we're getting strikes for every little thing how are they making a, cl a clinical diagnosis without a license on somebody and saying those things which is very derogatory and damaging so so report 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 all TIs report, report, report that. And make sure you fill out the comment box with the wording that I just mentioned. That's how we're going to combat that. They shouldn't be allowed to make those kind of statements because they're making a diagnosis without having, without having a license or without having any clinic, clinical um, facts behind it. But anyways, that's my thought, my rant there. And then, um, you know, it's the same old, same old with me. I want to show you, um, you know, I had to get another, you know, recliner. Of course, I, I'm a TI, so I don't have a lot of money. So I bought a cheaper recliner, but it was more expensive than the last one I bought. And I'm going to show you it. So there it is. So you've seen that. 
I just got it in April and I'm wondering how long it takes them to damage it. Well, they've already damaged it. They peeled the backing underneath off the seat because that's where they always damage everything on, on mine. Like any chair I have, they go and then they will um, rip the backing off. You know, they have that felt covering that's underneath it. They've already ripped it off in the seat and then they start working on the seat with the bolts. They take the bolts off. They break the wood. They do all that. They used to. They do that w with my beds too. Like I can't order a bed because most beds are made out of wood, and they will just break it. They'll break all the wood slats. They do all that. So I haven't had a bed in years because of that. Because they break everything. Now I do have. Um, I did stop buying like any frame for the beds and I do have two mattresses but I don't sleep on them um, because um, I mean you can put them on the floor the mattresses and I know that and I have done that but I only have a coil bed which isn't good for you at all uh, you know so there's that um, anyways so I refuse to sleep and a lot of older people it ain't just because I'm a TI, it's also a lot of older people, like, I know my ex, like, ex-family members. When you get older, you just prefer to sleep on the couch. I, I, I know somebody with a lot of money, a lot of money. It's an ex-family member, and they have a lot of money, like, wealthy, old money. And um, they prefer to sleep on the couch, too. And they have, like, a, a, a very expensive bed and a comfortable bed. Sometimes when you get older, it, you just prefer to sleep on the couch. But anyways, there's that. Not all people do, but a lot of older people do. I notice, too, there's people in my apartment complex that do that because, you know... You can see them. I'm on the upper floor, so you can see. Just, I think it's just due to health reasons, and it's just easier. Anyways, other than that, nothing, I know nothing else is going on, just the same old TI stuff. It goes on year after year, cycle after cycle. Um, that's about all I have. This is a short video, I know. It's the same old thing. Just a different day. The, you know, the asset stripping and the, you know, trying to break you down to nothing. Just like they, just like they did in World War II. It's the same program. Just the security companies borrowed the program. That's what happened. And yes, to some extent, this is, um, a lot of people say this is um, spiritual, but you got to be careful about saying that. Because a demon don't have an address. And if you start saying that too much of that, then, then, then we're never going to get any help. Because what are they going to do, look for a demon? Yeah, be careful about talking about that too much because yes, while it can, a part of it can be spiritual and I can see how you could see that, but you want to not talk about that too much because that's also a psych, a psych op. That's also an op for, for us to get on that subject and steer us away from the real security company that's doing this. So that way it's, it, 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 it's to look somewhere else while while the real people are getting away with it while you're looking over here thinking it's a demon then the real security company's getting away with it you got to be careful because they want you looking everywhere else i'm not saying it's not a part of it's probably not spiritual but what i'm saying is stay away from the demons and all that that gets a little you're getting a little out there it's a little too much it's like make-believe in a way so it's like make-believe it's something you can't prove you want to always stay factual with something you can prove because then it starts 
Yeah, it lay, leaves you open for... When you start saying stuff like that, it leaves you open for those evaluations, just put it that way. Anyways, peace and love.